Hi, my name is Karen Wiege, and in this video I will share with you eight simple and effective tricks for taking amazing architecture photos. To begin with, beautiful architecture is all around us, and you don't have to be traveled to big cities to find beautiful man-made buildings. Your iPhone is a really great tool for architecture photography because it is with you every day and you can be ready to shoot in an instant. Architecture photography is a very popular photo subject. Architecture comes in so many different styles, shapes and sizes and it gives you the opportunity to try to shoot it from many different angles. One of the great benefits I think by photographing architecture is that your subject isn't going anywhere. So you can just take your time to find the best angle to shoot from. When it comes to architecture photography choice of the angle plays a very important role because different angles converse different features of the building. So my first tip is to take a straight up picture. Straight up or defined by a look up picture is a photo taken from the down and up. Look up pictures can for example turn out to be great if you stand by a tall building. When you take a look up picture you just have to hold your phone straight up and take the picture. For example, like in this picture of a curved building, you can photograph the building in a really great way by standing next to the building and take a look up shoot. I took the picture in that way because I wanted to capture the curves. I just went to the middle of the building and hold my phone straight up and took it my picture from there. Another picture of a building taking straight up is this picture of an apartment building in Copenhagen. As you can see the building has a lot of layers and I really wanted to show the layers in my picture. If you photograph this building straight ahead from a distance I think it just would have turned out as a round building. But when photographed from down and up, the layers in the building is really shown. Sometimes you will have to use a totally opposite technique. When you at the top of a tall building, take a straight down photo to create a sense of depth. One of the big benefits by taking the picture when you look down is that the perspective often get really great. In this picture I wanted to capture the shape and the format inside of the building. So I went all the way up and I ho hold my phone straight to capture most of the building. I think you can really get a sense of the format and size of the building from the top. And the fact that the, there is a tiny person in the picture helps to get the effect from the large building. Another example of a look down picture is this taking down from a spiral staircase. Again, I just went up and took the picture straight down from there. But if you ever encounter a row of same looking building, shoot them from one side because this will create a beautiful rhythm and flow. Rhythm represents an easy movement of the viewer's eyes following the elements in the picture. In this picture of all the sm small houses, I wanted to capture as many houses as possible in the picture. I think what makes these houses interesting is the red roofs and that they are all the same. The best way was to shoot them from a little distance from the side because it is also a great detail to see the houses in different sizes. Again in this picture I thought the best way was to photograph them from a side. Keep in mind that you don't have to be super precise to create a great photograph taking from a side. When you choose the best angle to take your photo from, try to notice some interesting details on the building. Windows usually are the ones that are underestimated, but you can use them to create beautiful architecture photos. So my next tip is to shoot front facades of buildings to capture all these great windows patterns. Symmetric is a really good subject in photography and by photographing facades you easily can make your photos symmetric. For example by cropping your picture to have, have the same amount of windows in both directions you will get the great symmetrical pattern. This photo of 
this last building with all the small windows I took from a distance because I wanted to capture as many windows as possible. And in this also straight facade picture I wanted to get a little closer because I think this building's windows had some really great de detail and actually every window is actually a pattern too. And in this last example I again wanted to photograph the building from a little distance to get most of the facade in the picture. When it comes to create more engaging architecture photos, add a bright colored subject somewhere in the scene. This has a huge impact on composition because bright colors like red and yellow draw viewers attention to the image. Intense colors make people take notice of the image. There are so many ways that you can use colors to grab the viewer's attention and draw the focus toward your main subject. When I took this picture I was on a photo walk with a friend. I had asked her to bring a red hat because I really thought it would add some extra to a photo of this church. The warm neutral tones in the church goes really well with a little color splash. And again, in this picture of a great wall in Berlin, the little shopping trolley gives some extra to the wall. It is really fun to start to think about color and use it in your photos. And if you are out photographing with some friends, you can always ask them to wear a little colorful detail. In this picture, I've used colors in a different way by matching the color from the sky with a little vintage car. And the bright sky and the color of the car goes well with the warmer tones of the little building. Another great and easy way to improve your composition of your architecture photo is to use staircases. They will act as strong leading lines in your architectural photos. Leading lines are one of the most useful elements in photography, I think. Leading lines help to draw viewers' eyes into the picture. Our eyes are naturally drawn to lines, and a photo with a strong leading line should appeal to the viewer's eyes. Photography is about composition, and composition is about shape, design, and in many cases, patterns. I think staircase cases have all these. The natural design of staircases make them very photogenic and pleasing to the eye, especially the way they lead from one floor to another, changing direction and overlapping each level. In this picture, the leading line creates a sense of depth when photographing this staircase from the top and down. Your eye naturally follows the spiral all the way down to the bottom of the stairs. When I took this picture of this colorful staircase, I just used the basis of the stairs in my composition and the lines from the steps. Most staircases and other interior objects can be found indoors. When it comes to shooting interior, it's, it's important to pay attention to light. So my next tip is to use natural light from windows to take perfectly lit iPhone photos. During the daytime, the most obvious light source for indoor photography is window light. It can make the most wonderful light and also the window can make some great indoor shadow. Windows that have eastern and western exposure will offer the best softly diffused light through the day, but you could also use the bright light through a window. In this picture taken in a big vintage market, I again think the light matches the picture in a great way. And the small shadows in the couches gives, give you a sense of the light that comes in the room. Last but not least tip if you want your architecture photos very powerful is to add a human element in the scene. People will create a story about your architecture photos which will help viewers to imagine and wonder about your photographs. It is also really great because it adds a focal point. Focal point is the part of an image that draws the eye of a viewer to the most important part of the picture or the area you want to highlight. The reason a focal point is, is important is that when you look at an image, your eye will generally need a resting place or something of interest to hold to. Something for photographers to keep in mind is that upon viewing a scene, our brains need to make sense of what we see. In this 
picture, the person automatically makes you wonder about her. And I think she tells a story even so you can't see her face. And I think it helps give the pictures meaning. In this picture of a silhouette of a bacon man, I think it is the movement from the man that strengthens the impact of the little birds and the building. And in this picture, I wanted the architectural background to really be my main object, but at the same time, I think the person adds some extra to the picture. It is fun to play with some different movements from a person. Lean, jump, walk, biking, or just stands are some ideas you can use in photos. So these were eight simple tips that will help you to take amazing architecture photos. And remember, beautiful architecture can be found all around us. So keep your eyes open.